Pure methylation, let's get down and dirty with the technical reason why this product works. So I know most folks that have MTHFR are keenly aware that what they really have is a deficiency in methylation, right, not making enough methylation, as well as a difficulty producing properly the enzyme folate reductase. All right, so it means that you get dirty fast. That's really the bottom line. And so most of the symptoms associated with MTHFR are not a result of the mutation, but acquiring lots of toxins that then cause hormone dysregulations and just generally make you sick. So the question is, how do you get rid of those toxins or basically how do you make up for the methylation deficiency? Well, you can take methylation in the form of a handful of B vitamins because the mutation is not just methyl group, but also the enzyme folate reductase methylating the vitamin folate, of course, becomes the, the holy grail for MTHFR, right? So why do a balanced B? If what you need is folate and you need to be methylated, why add a B12 and a B6? So here's the thing. Bodies work in ratios. They're not designed to work just on a single B vitamin. And if you think about foods that have lots of B vitamins, like green vegetables, you never really find a vitamin that has just one B, and it's because the cycle, the mitochondrial cycle, requires a number of Bs in a very specific ratio. The reason I like this product over here is because it adheres to the same ratio that the mitochondrial cycle prefers with the already reduced form of the, the vitamin folate, meaning it's easy to absorb if you have MTHFR. One word of caution for everybody, I know, again, uh, it, because you have MTHFR and you've probably read a lot about it, you're thinking maybe let me methylate and then let me methylate some more to keep feeling better. Keep in mind, methylation is a tool that a body uses to turn on and turn off reactions. It is by definition, a promoter, it turns on sequences. Do not, with any methylation, that's true for pure methylation, it's true for any methylation, don't take too much of it, right? If you over methylate, you create a whole bunch of reactions in a body that it can't control. So the key when you're picking out your own product for methylation, this one's mine, number one, you wanna make sure it's pure and certified specifically for MTHFR, right? MTHFR bodies don't like toxicity, so you wanna make sure it's a very, very clean nutraceutical, so physician grade vitamin, which this one is. Uh, number two, you wanna make sure that you've got the right ratio of B vitamins. So just taking a methylated folate can be a problem because the cycle is actually turned on by B12. So if you just drive one part of the cycle without the rest, bodies can have a problem. And then finally, uh, depending on your MTHFR mutation, that's how you know how many of these pills to take. Here in clinic, what we normally do is a single A mutation, so A and a wild type. We normally make the recommendation of one cap per day for a double C mutation, so at least affected to most affected, right? A by itself or a double C, the two sides of the spectrum for MTHFR. For a double C, depending on the person, depending on the symptoms, depending on their labs, what we normally recommend is two caps up to two times per day. All right, so again, if you're looking for a safe product for effective methylation, the balance of the B vitamins over here, the fact that it's such a clean product, the fact that it's so good at really driving that mitochondrial cycle, it's my favorite when it comes to methylation.